In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to change brush size. I wish Illustrator was a little bit more upfront with this. However, uh, let me try to clear up how we can change our brush size. So there is a brush tool in Illustrator. The shortcut key is B. And with the brush tool, we can basically paint out here, this little like vector line. Now, one thing is that this brush has options so we can double click on that and we can make it more smooth or more accurate to your stroke and then there's a few other options down here but brush size isn't one of those options well the hidden shortcut that we can use is actually the left and right brackets on our keyboard so if we hold the right bracket our brush gets bigger and you can see how the brush is much much larger the left bracket will make it smaller just like that so we can make this brush a lot bigger if we need to, but we can also set the brush size. And we can do that over in our properties panel inside of this little brush area. And what we can do here is basically, what happens is it selects this three point round brush to start with, but we can edit that brush size. And so if we double click on this little uh, three point round swatch, we can actually adjust the brush options. And we can adjust the name of it, which we might do in a second. But first, you can see down here, depending on if you're using a tablet or like a pen or just your mouse, you can adjust the angle, the roundness, and then also the size. So we can bring this size way up or down. And so if we wanted to set this to like 90, you also have some options here. If you do have pressure sensitivity that you can change. But if we want to bring this brush size way up, so it's not three point, it's 90 point, we can do that and hit OK. And then this brush is in use. So what we could do is apply that 90 point to the existing strokes we've already made or just leave them. I'm going to leave them in this case. But now we have this much larger brush and we can paint out here with it. And then if we wanted to, it still says three point round, which is kind of confusing. So we could hit this plus icon to create a new brush. And this brush we want to be, let's, let's say we want it to be a 90 point round. And so then we take that back to 90, hit OK. And now we have this new brush here that will be a part of our brushes going forward. And so you can create new brushes easily like that or edit the existing ones. But that is how you can change the brush size. And you can use those left and right brackets. Uh, let's see if, nope, I was hoping holding shift would allow you to do that a little bit quicker, but you can't. So this just goes up and down through the brush sizing. Now, kind of a weird thing here is that the brush size and the stroke are two different things. So if we select one of these brushes, you can see how it just has a one point stroke. But if I select this much skinnier one, it still has a one point stroke. That's because a brush is applied to it. So technically I could click and apply like the 90 point brush or any other brush stroke. And there's a whole library of brush strokes, even artistic ones and like inky or paintbrush ones. Like I could do a chalk charcoal pencil brush stroke, for instance, and just completely change this brush to look different and more artistic. There's a lot of things that you can do with it. We're getting a little bit further than just changing the brush size, but I did want to show that you can also change the stroke of a line afterwards as well, which will adjust the sizing. So like if we have this brush out here, we can then change the stroke and, and make that uh, artistic effect like larger or smaller with that brush. That's how you can change brush size here in Illustrator.